Hey, I'm Rabat Ferenczi and in this video I would like to show you the basic photo scan process with the new Agisoft Metashape 1.7 and Blender of course. If you want really good quality, you have to use your DSLR camera instead of your phone. So the first step is to convert your raw image files into something else. If it is just a few images, then you can go with TIFF files. But if you have lots of images, even thousands, then you can go with JPEG images. For this demo I use JPEGs. Here in the raw therapy, you need to set the correct sharpness, remove chromatic aberration, correct exposure. Here you can sort out and delete blurry images also. Then just start the batch process and after a few minutes, you are ready to go with Agisoft Metashape. Here on the left side there are chunks. This can be completely different scans for example. So you can render here lots of scans in batch. First, just load the images into the first chunk. Second, we have to align them, which means Metashape gonna figure out the placement of the images in the 3D space. So which image comes from which angle? This is a couple of minutes depending on the image count. After this, you have a sparse point cloud, which is good enough to decide what parts of the scan you want to keep and calculate in higher resolution and what not. This helps you to resize the bounding box to the important part of the scan. To make this more clear for you, I delete the unnecessary points of the cloud. To do this, you can use these lasso types like the freehand lasso, rectangular and circle lasso. Just select what you want to keep, then invert the selection and press delete. It is time to set the bounding box properly. The size of the processed area has a huge impact on render time also. You can use these resize, move and rotate region buttons to set your bounding box as desired. The next step is the high res render, which is the most time consuming thing in the whole process. To start the process you have to press the mesh button. But what's even better is use the batch button, where we can specify all the steps we want and then just leave the computer alone, for example for night. Anyway, this is the workflow menu where you can control the main functions of the program and these functions are listed in a very logical order, like step by step. So I open batch menu and as you can see, here is a simple batch from my previous session. I just delete these and make it again for you. But first I have to save, to give a proper file name. So the first thing is always aligning and the only thing why we didn't put it in this list is the bounding box resizing which need a little bit of human interaction. But the following steps are obvious, so we can choose the build mesh from the list. Here if you use the sparse cloud option you can render a preview geometry in no time, but we choose the depth map algorithm which is the latest and most advanced rendering method of the program. Use it on high or ultra high depending on your image count. Here you can specify the poly count with the face count field. There are low, mid and high settings but you can specify an exact value as well. Alternatively, you can decimate the mesh after the rendering process. We go with that in this case. So, choose it from the list, specify the poly count and it's done. 
The last step is generate a texture for the model. Usual settings like resolution. Actually, you can add the export command to this list also. But before I export, I like to check the result because I can cut floating or any unwanted parts from the geo, if I have any. So now I just start the render and don't forget to turn on the save checkbox to save after each step. After several hours, you have a final render, what you can investigate. Argus of Metashape 1.7 is amazing. The king claimed back his throne. Now it is on the same level, like reality capture. These are my personal experiences. And the price of the standard version is very correct and affordable. And like always, I vote on legal softwares. Ok, it is time to export and work on it in Blender. The easiest way to load a textured model, like a photo scan, into Blender is my object loader add-on, link in the description, which helps you to choose an OBJ file and an image file in one single step and load the model with the shader and texture automatically. Why does this add-on exist? Because this is not happening all the time by default. Argisoft is good at it, but a lot of any other softwares give you OBJ where the attached MTL file is useless for Blender or broken or just simple missing. This add-on loads the model with textures, whatever it takes, it doesn't use MTL files at all. Just doing its job perfectly. Please support this channel by purchasing the add-on and use it with joy. I hope we're gonna meet in my next video, so please subscribe. This is a very new channel and pretty exciting things are coming. Just starting a visual effect heavy tutorial series here. And actually this image is a shot from that sequence, so it is really worth to subscribe. See you in my next video. Bye.